Hello, JetRadar, and welcome to the weekly analysis for EURUSD. So we're going to be analyzing the EURUSD for the week 5th to 9th of February 2024. So we are on the weekly time frame already, and based on what we have here, we have uh, three bearish candles and signaling bearish continuation however however when you consider yes the, the 200 period moving average this is 200 period moving average is quite above the price but the support that the 21 period moving average is giving to price at the moment is important for us to consider it right and also when you now consider that for the three for three consecutive weeks that this has been coming down. Yes, yeah, you what you think is okay, price is gonna go down, it's gonna go continue going down, right? But I want us to also begin to look at it from a different perspective. Can't you think that this could be because if you look at this, this looks like uh, three white um, crow, <clears throat> right? Which after the move, the next move you will see here that this week might just push price up. This is just a bias, right? Now, if you also consider uh, this move from here, let me zoom out a bit. Now, if you consider the move from here, all right, and it looks as if this, like, well, it doesn't really give us uh, much of a flag pattern because this is too long. But just look at it and you might... If you are saying that, okay, price might respect this support and be rejected as it opens and then make its way back up, you may be right. So we have to look at this with open mind. But then let's get down. So the bias here is still bearish, no doubt. But let's be careful of these three candles. Let's be very careful about them. So I'm going to be very, very careful. I believe that it might want to, uh, the boost may want to push price back up. But if you now look at the, from here, that is, uh, which period is this? This is from 2022 September, right? If you look at from here, there's a, there's a swing low here, then all the way, now swing A, swing B, then there was a, another swing low here, which is a higher high, call it C. And then a new high, higher high here, this is a lower high rather, right? Then you now have a higher high here, okay? Then you now have another higher low. What did I just say? I said this is a higher low, not a lower high. This is a higher low. This swing here is a higher low compared to this. Then you have a higher high here compared to this. And then another higher low compared to this one. Then pushing up to a new high, right? And then see what has happened here, okay? Price for, began to now drop after it was rejected at the 200 period moving average, forming a dark lock of around here. So with what we have here now, I also see this to be a sort of inducement, but I think it was still uh, very strong here when it was rejected with this shooting star and then it started coming down. But now that 21 period moving average has stopped it around here, what do we expect Compare, considering one, two, three um, black, no, no, it should be black crows, right? That's we call it white crows here. Yeah. So price might begin to shoot up. And let's just leave it there. Let's go down to daily time frame and see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so on the daily time frame, you have, have a swing low here. You have another swing low here. But then the swing low here is higher than the low here. So you have a higher low and all of that going up and up and up until... Now here, so yeah, you may also be forming another swing low, right? But then this could also be an inducement if you can consider this place. But price has, on the time frame, broken the 200 period moving average here, right? And of course, all the moving averages are above. That's on daily time frame, and it formed a bearish engulfing pattern. Now with this formation, what do we expect? Price may open on Monday and try to pull up and it might give us a reversal pattern, you never can tell. So we are we have to watch that also. 
okay so no conclusion there so let's go to four hours and see whether we can find a pattern that will give us a signal okay so on four hours we have a bearish bias over here right so of course you can see that price is going down if you bring in the moving average uh, the uh, trend line pardon me okay you can see that what we have here is a swing low rather you have a, a downtrend line rather and of course all the moving average the 200 period moving average the 50 period moving average and of course the 21 day moving average the don't period moving average right they are all above price but still on four hours we have a an inverted hammer here okay so where will the market open you need to also consider the let's look at the fundamental indicators that's let's look at the economic indicators just a moment let me open fx street okay so this is fx street um let's see if we can open the, the calendar all right let's open the calendar now on tuesday on monday rather uh, we'll be expecting some medium impact events the trade balance from uh, germany um hcob services pmi all of these may have impact the euro positively or negatively so watch out for this this might just be what the euro may need you know i can tell but let's look at tuesday on tuesday uh, we still have some even high impact look at the retail sales here on tuesday retail sales here on tuesday this also this is also something to watch out for yeah, if you want to let me open to stretch it all the way to friday okay so let's stretch it to friday 9th great so now on wednesday on wednesday put it here all right on wednesday we are going to be um okay not much nothing from the okay what just two events from the eurozone around 7 a.m on wednesday and that's industrial production um okay that's around 7 a.m gmt then you have on thursday you have economic bulletin and then uh, the then of course um elderson will be speaking uh, will, will be making a speech rather then um there's also a speech by lane okay and then if you go to friday friday you will be having the german harmonized um index of consumer prices all right so these events will shape the euro now do not forget also we are talking about euro usd do not forget that there are events that will be coming out that will impact the us dollar as well let me close this okay the us dollar there will be Fed, uh, federal monetary policy report at 16 hours gmt on friday now let's go up and of course okay uh there, there will be okay this one is for AUD USD. that's for bullock governor bullock now uh, you look at for gbp for us the, the rather i think we'll have a major some major let me see whether we'll have some major events for the us dollar let's scroll up okay um okay then ism services new orders and ism um, services prices employment and pmi it does a service pmi right okay for january all these will come out on monday so there's a whole lot on monday that will really help us to determine what happens to this euro so i mean it's going to be a very busy monday and a lot a lot a lot is going to happen so let's cross our fingers but based on what we have here we will still position ourselves for the bearish trend first because price will still react bearishly first before at all it corrects so we're going to work with this first so let's look at it based on the fall from here i think we should take it from there yeah yeah based on this fall from from here which is at 1.09 okay i think it's a bit higher let me take it here okay all right so based on this already you can see if you, if, I, if you look at this 
This is the low here is 1.0779 and the low here is 1.078099. The low here is 1.0807. So this is almost like a double bottom here, right? So we see price will push up. So you can take advantage of that actually. Let's see how it opens anyway. So by the time you come and we see a pattern that will validate this uh, little inverted hammer here. So we might see price push back up okay and if it's pushing up remember to wait for it around 50 percent so a proper analysis of the Fibonacci uh, retracement tool uh, will now be of course will be if you look at here now you can see there's almost a confidence not that a strong confidence though between 50 period moving average and the uh, 50 percent retracement of the Fibonacci so but it will also we may now need to bring in our pivot point analysis all right, to see just for Monday, perhaps see whether there will be a a congruence right around that same place. All right, so what we are going to do is that we're going to wait as the market resumes. We we'll see where the daily pivot points and the weekly pivot points are. I don't want to start doing the calculation ordinarily. I would have just run it on uh, using the web calculator and then place it here and then we'll give it. But then let's just keep our eyes. And our fingers crossed and keep watch a watchful eyes around here so price may retrace get to 50 percent or anywhere if i you start looking at 61.8 50 percent and 38.2 retracements and then price will still come down and before it might eventually turn up or keep going down any which way it goes let's get ready because the market um this week really promises to be another interesting week uh, maybe whether it will be more interesting than the previous week because the uh, previous week was quite 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 interesting that's the kind of um uh, volatility that traders like all right keep the market busy and making the money okay so uh, guys you want to keep an eye on the euro usd and let's see how things go okay i even plotted this on four, four hours instead of on one hour right um one hour well um on one hour i could actually run it from here down i can actually i could actually run it from here down. so if i am to drag this let me just put another one fibonacci inside of fibonacci so i'll run from here okay to here still so we're having 50 percent around where we have um what do we even have there that's where we have the 61.8 percent for the four hours but for 50 for the for the one hour so 1.08 387 so this is what we will use now to work with the daily um pivot points all right i wish i could run the calculation but i don't want to run it i just want to avoid it okay so um i want the market to open then i can uh, uh, start it on the, on the platform so it runs it for me i don't want to be want to do it okay so and then okay, around here so we have the 50 percent retracement and uh, 200 period is closed there and 21 um period is also closer so i think this place is even a stronger level for us 1.083878 isn't it yeah that's it so this place is stronger for us 1.08 which is 50 percent reason for the one hour and i think my eye will be more on that so please keep your eye on it and let's see how it unfolds trade to win during the week